Hello students, this is Munindra, Munindra Prakash Rakhya from Faculty of Commerce and Management, Rama University, Kanpur. Students, today we are going to just discuss about the mathematical term, that's term correlation. First of all, we should know what is the mean of correlation, what we have to use this kind of correlation. See, we have to just use this kind of things in a different pattern in a research methodology, in a math methodology, in some kind of find the, analyze the data, right? So, uh, first off, should know what is the mean of correlation. Correlation is nothing. It is just kind of relationship, relation between two variable, extent relation between two variable. Variable can be uh, x, y, can be, Demand, demand and price, right? As you know, price is go down, then demand will increase, right? You have already learned about in uh, economics. So here is uh, extent relationship between two variables. Uh, vari uh, correlation is represented by small r, right? Always remember the value of the this correlation of two variable from minus one to plus one, right? As I told you, the computation value of correlation between minus one to plus one. So when the value comes minus one, it means there is a relation between two variable is perfect negative correlation, right? When the value will come in positive plus one, so there is a perfect positive correlation. And suppose when the value will come in a zero, so they, it shows that there is a no any kind of relation between two vari variable. It means it is no correlation between two variable, right? So just have a take a one more example of that. How many methods we have to just find out the value of correlation of two variable? See, okay, students. So there are four methods to find out the value of correlation between two variables. First one is known as a Spearsman rank correlation, right? Second is, second method is curl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Third one is scatter diagram with, with the, uh, this is a help of the bar graph and all. And that is uh, coefficient of concurred deviation. Right. There are so it means ki there are four methods to find out the uh, value of the correlation uh, with uh, between two variables. Right. Okay. Just have a look. Uh, we are going to just uh, describe a one example over here. You can easily understand how to compute compute the value of value between two variables. Okay, uh, just have a look, take an example over here. Here are two variables, x and y, right? Here, x values are 5, 2, 13, 8, 24, 20, 4, 16. And y variables are uh, 197, 96, 104, 119, 95, 35, and 53. How to compute this uh, difference between these two value relation between two these x and y variable so just have a look uh, first of all we have to just write over here x variable so we have to just make out this thing in a tabular form here is a x variable then y variable so just write on first x 5 2 13, 8, 24, 20, 4, 
and 16. We are just discussing about the Spearman. Spearsman rank. We are discussing about the Spearsman rank method to find out the correlation between two variables. So here is a 5, 2, 13, 8, 24, 20, 4, and 16. And just write down these values, same as it is 100, then 97, then 96, then 104, then 119, then 95, then 35, okay. And last one is 53. Is it clear? So we have already write this x variable and y variable. Now we have to just write, find out the rank of x variable, right? What is the mean of rank of x variable? We have to just sort out the max and decreasing order means. We have to find the biggest number first. So we will give the first rank of the biggest value. So here is a, just have a look. It means 20 is the biggest one. So we will write over here 1. Then after 20, which is, uh, sorry, uh, here is 24. So big, biggest one is 24. And then 24, after 24, it is a 20. So we will give the second rank to 20. Then after this, just have a look, 16. 16 will have a rank 3. Then after 16, 13. 13 is a rank number 4. And after 13, 8. 8 are rank number 5. And after this, 8, 5. That is 6. And 5 after 5, 4. That is 7 and 2 is the last one. So, right. Just like that, you have to find out the rank of y variable. Same process. You have what I said, okay, we have to just find the biggest value and put the rank. Right? See, which one is the biggest value over here? 119. So 119 is the biggest one. So we will write over here, that is a rank number 1 in a y variable series, right? And after this, 104. So that, that is a number, rank number 2. And after this, 100, rank number 3. Then 97, 4. Then 96, 5, then 95, 6, and then 53, rank number 7, and 35 is rank number 8. I suppose to be that you have already understood how to just put the rank wise from two variable series, right? Now, we have to find out the difference between rank. So, R x minus R y, right? It means we will subtract this value from R x to R y. See, 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3. value will come 3 and 8 minus 4 that is a 4 then 5 uh, 4 minus 5 here should become value in negative minus 1 then 4 minus 2 2 then 1 minus 1 Then 2 minus 6, here will come minus 4, 
2 minus 4, right? Then 7 minus 8. The value will come minus 1, and after this, 3 minus 7, it means minus 4. Always remember, you have to just put the sign, either it comes in a positive degree or negative degree, right? There is no any kind of bar, okay? Now, after this, we have to just find out the d square. It means we have to square of these all values, whatever we have already find, right? So, just tell me, uh, 3 k square means 9, 4 k square, 16, minus 1 k square, 1, 2 k square, 4, 0 k square, 0, minus 4 square, 16, minus 1 square, 1, and minus 4 square, 16. Now, sum up the all these value. So, sigma d square will find uh, 9, 6, 15, 15, 16, 16, 20, 26, 26, 27, and 6, uh, 27, 6, 12, 33, then 3, 1, 3, and 1, 4, 4, 4, 5, and 6, 63. So, the sigma d square will come 63. Now, we have to put the formula of Spearman rank method correlation. So, he, here is a r is equals to 1 minus sigma 6 sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1, right. So, sigma, 6 sigma d square we have already find what is the value of n. So, just have a look 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, uh, we have to just write the, the value of given, what is the given value? Sigma, whatever given are we can find easily. Uh, we can say uh, the sigma d square is equals to 63 and n is equals to 8. So, just substitute this value in this formula. We can find easily the correlation means relation between two variable x and y. So, just substitute minus 1 sigma d is, is equals to 6 into 63, right? And upon n, n is given that is a 8, 8 square minus 1. <coughs> 1 minus 6 into 63 upon 8 into 8 is a 64, 64 minus 1, 63, 1 minus 6 into 63 upon 8 into 63. So, just divide this value. We will increase 0. Four seven eight twenty eight two zero means one minus zero point seven five answer will come zero point two five. So we can say here is a relation between positive correlation between two x and y variable. 
that is a 0 0.25 that is your answer right okay students i am just giving you one more questions and find out the value of of correlation between x and y variable and nobody will cheat from anywhere we assume there are two variables x and y uh, 5 18 36 63 and uh, 17 and 15 203 105 61 36 and uh, any values 19 and 119 we can say uh, 120 that's right so find the correlation between x and y variable with the help of Spearman rank method. Right? Just find out data, everyone. Okay, students. Always remember this is your formula. Right? And with the help of this formula, you have to just find the value of x and y, relation of x and y variable with the help uh, of Spearman rank method. Next part we will discuss in la next lecture. Thank you so much. Till again. Thank you.